This is my test chamber that I've been testing all of my cells in. This is my first cell right here, which is stainless steel tubing with an inner tube inside. My second one, I've been experimenting with plates. I've used up to nine different spacing. Got great results with that. Then I went back to the tube method and I decided to go two outer tubes, two inner tubes. This would be the negative, this would be the positive. And in this test, I clamped the pipes, the inner tubes, very close to the center. It seemed to work pretty good. And then my new one is right inside of here right now. And I will show you that after I do a test. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's making a noise. And that would be a pump. There is a pump located inside here, which is using about five amps of power. The rest is consumed by the cell. And the pump, what it's doing is it's forcing the water through a two plate system. I will show you that in one second. Okay, and this is the inside. This is the cell part. Right here is where I have the water shooting up from the submergible pump going directly into this plastic piece, which is a little unnecessarily thick, but this is just a crude prototype. I'm gonna change the plates around a lot. And there's, I only have one hole that's in the center of this plate here and it's shooting out against this plate here. And I have a rubber gasket going all the way around and it's only opening is on the bottom. And I'll turn it on just so you can see the amount of pressure coming out of here. And it's a, by the way, it's a five amp pump and it produces 800 gallons per minute, which is a lot, which is probably too much. I'm gonna try to get a variable speed switch on there so I can control the amount of pressure that the, the pump throws out or even change the pump to get a, a solar one but that all depends on the plate system and here we go that's how fast it shoots out of there as you can see And there you see is a submergible pump.